Hey, how's it going, guys? Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I'm still recovering from the food coma from last night. It was definitely good. A lot of leftovers this week. But today, I'm going to get back on the Honda Odyssey. Um, in my other video, y'all know I bought it. Um, trying to figure out if I was going to keep it or flip it. Um, I probably eventually are going to flip this thing. <laughs> but I'm going to enjoy driving it a little bit. We're going to take a trip with it here in a couple of weeks. And I done put like about 300 something miles on this thing. And it actually drives pretty good. And But we still got to tackle that oil leak that's going on. Uh, power steering's doing good. Um, so I think we're going to be okay on that. But God, get this valve cover gasket replaced. Because I mean, it's getting oil down the block onto the exhaust. And uh, need to get it tackled. But other than that, I mean, she's looking good. She's cleaning up good. Still got a lot of cleaning left to do on it. I got to do a second round of cleaning on the inside. Uh, get the carpet cleaner and stuff. But compared to what it was, I mean, it's a night and day improvement. But, yeah, we're getting ready to tackle this thing. And I know there's things online about how to do this, but I need to get it done. But that valve cover is leaking like a sieve. The one in the back, surprisingly, from what I can see so far, where I can see from behind and underneath, is not leaking. So we'll address that once I move the plenum off to the side, because you got to take the plenum off to get to that valve cover. And uh, let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to try to get as much oil off from around where it's at. And, and that way it's not as messy getting it out. I also don't want any debris falling back in. So I just want to get all that sprayed out. All right, we'll let that dry for a second. There's a few things that need to be disconnected on it. Um, a couple connectors here on the solenoid, on the VVT. Uh, unplug the EGR here in the back, unplug the coil packs, and then unclip this from the brace. I should be able to raise that over and put it over to there. All right, now we got this loose. Let's get the tube off here, the valve cover. Now we can bring this over this way. All right, looks like we got a couple 10 millimeters. But like I said, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. It was a long day for us. Go ahead and get these coal packs off. Taking advantage of the nice weather we've had. Past couple days, it's been in the 60s. 
So definitely enjoying that. But I was looking at prices on parts on some of this stuff. Man, exactly not on the cheap side. But like the Hondas and Toyotas and stuff like that you take care of, man. They last a long time. Those look good. Now I'm going to very carefully, I really don't want to try to take all this apart, but I might have to. But the game plan is, is take this top part to put them off, get to the bolts underneath here. Very carefully lift this and set it back this way a little bit. That way I've got access to the valve cover. Um, I might end up having to take the whole thing apart to get it out. I don't know. We're going to try and uh, see how it goes. Get everything a little tap here. Definitely trying not to disturb the seals on this. These are still in good shape. Now we got some more 10 millimeter bolts to take out. And hopefully if it works out right. I should be able to lift it up just enough to get it off to the side. If not, we'll be taking all this apart. Got the bolts out on the plenum. I am going to have to take this stuff apart here to get it up and over. I was hoping it wasn't going to have to, but there you go. All right, I think it's gonna be out of the way though. Gas it still looks good. So we'll be able to reuse that. So. Let's go ahead and get this valve cover off.
She's a little dirty in there. I mean, someone hadn't been doing their, uh, changing the wall and stuff. So let's get all this cleaned up and we'll get on the bell covers. Well, I just got finished cleaning the valve cover. It was pretty crusty. Um, as you can see, this oil has, whoever had this vehicle before, the other person, I don't know. Um, another one of those deals of not changing the oil when you need to. So, I've seen worse. Um, the oil ports are open, which is a good thing. Uh, but this is why it's important to change your oil, guys, and and gals, I mean, this is what causes problems down the road. Now, when I took the valve cover off and cleaned all the crud and oil off of it, <laughs> uh, someone has replaced the gasket on this before. And once I got all the oil and stuff off of it, I found out that there were some cracks in the valve cover. So right now, I did a patch job on it. It's not the best one in the world, but these two here had cracks, almost like a half moon. These are the seals that came out of it. So whoever did it before, I don't know, they tried to slam them in too hard or tried to take them out one way and they were supposed to come out another. I just went online and looked for a valve cover for this thing. New, it's like 300 and something dollars. Um, on eBay, they're anywhere between 100 to $250. And it's going to take about five days for one to show up. So for now, I patched this thing together. Hopefully it'll hold because we got a road trip to go on here in the next few days. And hopefully this takes care of it, but I'm eventually going to turn around and get another valve cover for it. Uh, just kind of things you run into when you buy a car. And, uh, but right now I'm letting that dry and then we'll get the seals in and get it back on the car, fire it up, let it run for a little bit. And if it doesn't leak, we're good to go. If not, then I'm going to be taking a different vehicle on a road trip. Go ahead and order the valve cover, and as soon as that gets in, replace it. So we'll see what happens. So basically just put them back together, reverse it, we took it apart. <clears throat> Sometimes it's a good idea. Uh, these days you can use your phone and stuff, take pictures uh, where everything goes back. In a lot of cases, it pretty much falls back into place. But you know, just for good reference, take pictures. All right, so we basically got it all back together, minus putting the engine cover back on. I'm gonna clean it up really good. But now we're gonna start it up, let it warm up, and make sure she doesn't leak. All righty, folks. Been running for a little bit now. And no leaking, because before, it was leaking all down through here. Valve cover itself. 
seems to be holding. I mean, right now it's burning off a little bit on the exhaust of the one or the four. But I think we nipped this one in the bud. So, it was a good thing. Like I said, I had to patch that valve cover. I did use um, JB Weld for aluminum. And, and it's like an epoxy. And you kind of mix it together and i let it set up for a while so hopefully that'll take care of it for now but i am still planning on ordering a new valve cover for this thing but it looks like she's going to be good i'm going to drive it around a little bit today and if everything still looks good by in the morning then we'll get ready to do our trip but that guys i'm going to get cleaned up put my tools up and like i said before i hope everybody had a good thanksgiving and i'll see you down the road